guys, how's it going? Welcome to the fifth installment of our beautiful garden series. This is a viewer submission video where you guys have sent in pictures and we get to look at them and be inspired. And this is a special one because today my mom is joining us <laughs> to look at these gardens and we are in need of some inspiration yes. right now because mm -hmm. it's, I don't know, I mean, behind us, you can see the gorgeous plant stand my mom got me <laughs> last week, <laughs> surprised me with, and it's full oh. of hyacinths and it's beautiful, but outside it's pretty great today. Mm -hmm. It is, although it would be comfortable for me to have sunglasses. If you want to wear but them. But I have, I no, I need, it's serious business. I've okay. got to do my glasses okay. so I can read. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so I don't know how many gardens we've looked through so far up to this point, but we've got uh, several of them lined up today. So let's start with Laurel in St. Paul, Minnesota. This is a zone 4B. We've got a video to start off with. So let's just play this really quick. Oh, oh my yeah. word. It's a riot of color. That is a riot. Mm -hmm. Look at how healthy everything looks. Mm -hmm. She's got a lot of the four colors there, which makes it really which pleasant. Which are green, blue, red, and gold. There you go. Yeah. Have a pleasing landscape, have all four colors. Yeah. But everything looks like healthy. Like super groomed <laughs> and yeah. Really healthy. <laughs> but it looks later in the season because everything mm -hmm. is like completely yep. bushed out and full. Usually mm -hmm. our containers by this time of the season, I'm like, yeah. okay, can fall get here sooner so I can pull these out <laughs> and start this up? We do, we do the frost dance. <laughs> we do. Yeah, we do the frost dance mm -hmm. just trying to beckon it mm -hmm. to come sooner so mm -hmm. we can <laughs> move on. These look really good. Okay. Yeah. Let's look at, oh, some flower bed shots. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, gosh. What's that's your favorite so plant in that picture? I think the hosta. Yeah, the one that's swimming. That, is that like a guacamole or. Oh, I don't know. Big Daddy. You would know it's more not a than big me. Da this, this, more, this looks more, that blue one in the front. Uh -huh. Look at that green one in the back. Yeah, with the big That leaves. looks like, like maybe a sun and substance. Oh, or it's really pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. I like the Hakanakloa grass yeah, there, and yeah. then the white swan, maybe echinacea mm -hmm. there on the left. But the use of variegation is good too, with the dogwood, and then in front, the variegated hostas. Kind of like pulls that mm -hmm. whole thing together. Yeah, it and does. do you notice they're able to use hostas and Hakanakloa in the same see beds that. they've got echinacea I see in? That. <laughs> it's not fair. We have to see, how do you do that? Yeah, we have to separate those pretty big time. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then next we've got is this more containers? Look at mm, the coleus. That's beautiful. Which one is that one? I think that's Wicked Witch. It, it, I love that ruffly edge. Isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. And, oh my word, mm -hmm. oh. so that's a still of kind of the first part of the video, but mm -hmm. look at that, there's Dusty Miller, there's Supertunias, mm -hmm. there's Impatience. Begonias. The begonias. Yeah. That Ipomoea mm -hmm. is really interesting. Mm -hmm. But she is it all mixed. Yeah. All mixed. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got some Dahlias with Cosmos. Oh, so pretty. What's it? Is that an aster? The purple? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, an aster, and then the um, the petunia in the front uh -huh. is the purple with the green edge. What is it called? Picasso. Picasso. Uh, pretty, yes, I pretty much Picasso. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, That's so pretty. Okay, I keep highlighting the wrong picture here. Okay, there we go. Mm. Oh my. Is that, oh, that's a ghost honeysuckle. Oh, it is. I'm like, is that a eucalyptus yeah. in a big giant container? It <laughs> so it looks like that they have a neighbor right there. Mm -hmm. And it, I bet you anything people want to come through between oh, those houses sure. and come look. I would. Yeah, with all like, that color. Once a week. I know. Like, <laughs> I'm here with my cocktail. That, that would be our, that would be <laughs> our, our walk of the day. Yes. <laughs> Let's go by, what's her name? Uh, Laurel. Let's go by Laurel's right. house tonight. Yes. <laughs> we'll be there in a few, Laurel. <laughs> we know what kind of work it takes to get this. Boy, don't we ever. Mm -hmm. And I, they have it that tidy and that healthy looking. That does not happen by itself. No, it does not. Mm -mm. Do you find mm -hmm. that the, the tighter you plant things, like the less weeding mm -hmm. you have for sure, mm -hmm. but the grooming, like yeah. it just... Yep. Oh, I love the sedum in this picture right here. It's beautiful. Right next to that ornamental mm -hmm. cabbage, mm -hmm. kale, I never know which yeah. one it is. And then uh, that canna is spectacular. That variegated leaf. Yeah. I think the flowers on cannas are pretty, but I love the leaves. Yeah. I love the texture. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we've got a before shot. And this next mm. one, this is from Justin, zone seven. Okay, so you've got some oh. landscape fabric down. Look and how they look how they painted on the landscape. That's fabric. so smart. Yeah, 
That's, that's really smart. Really smart. Why don't we do that? I've never done that. I've never seen that. Me either. Well, somebody they've got their thinking done. cap on. They do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Let's take a oh, interim shot. Oh Beds being gosh. made. Oh, they're being made out of pallets. Yep. They sure are. We have lots of those. We have a lot of pallets. We've got good pallets and then we've got nursery pallets. So we've got two stacks and we could always get some of the good ones. They'd never notice they were they gone. Would <laughs> the seed plant, the seed the plant seed guys. Plant. They might be onto us after well, a while. Well, when you're shipping seed, you can't have pallets that have had a lot of water and plant material. You have to have clean, nice, dry pallets. And the same size, right? And the same Very size. Mm -hmm. This is fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, later on. Wow. What a cool use, though, mm -hmm. of pallets in this way. I don't think I've ever seen mm -mm. this before. I haven't ever. Oh, and then there's a beautiful cactus yeah. of some kind. We can grow something similar to yes. that here. Yes, we can. And and folks around here eat those. I've oh. never had one before. I wonder what they, they have those like, like big paddles. How do they eat them? I think I don't know. Do you grill them up? I think they do. Oh, we're gonna have to investigate. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at that. Look at this. That look must at be. Look at those swings. Is that, that the front yard, right? And look at that wooden front uh, screen door. Isn't that pretty? That looks like something you'd put on mm -hmm. one of your doors. That's super pretty. I'd love to put them on our doors, but yeah. can you imagine the kids? Boom, 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 yeah. in and out with and that the door. the screen would be pushed, pushed out possibly. Probably. Yeah. Maybe in a, a year or two. Yeah, yeah. It'll oh. come around. I love mm -hmm. the color mm -hmm. scheme in this container. Yep. Wow. That's a color scheme we go for. It a lot is. Of times. Yeah. It seems like yeah, toward that's the super pretty. like in the beginning of summer mm -hmm. I always am cool colors and then mm -hmm. toward the end, especially when I'm doing cut flowers mm -hmm. and things, I'm always drawn to these yeah. colors, yep. the more warm colors. Okay, and sometimes I do a pot and at the end of the year I'm like, what was I thinking? <laughs> Every year. <laughs> what yeah. in the world? It must have been leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> it must have been I was really tired and yeah. I wanted to just bring whatever home. Right. <laughs> uh, Justin said that the garden is my sanctuary. Ah. Uh, yep. Lives to garden. Mm -hmm. Absolutely awesome. There's yeah. happiness in the harvest and promise in the pruning. Oh, that's awesome. Isn't that, that's yeah. like a quote we need to cross stitch. Yeah. Embroider. Embroider. Yeah. We can do that. We know we how should. to do that. I don't know how. I don't think I know how to do that. Have I ever embroidered anything in my life? Well, when you were a little kid. A little girl. Yeah. I need a machine. With the hoops? <laughs> Remember the hoops? Oh, yeah. I yep. bought myself a kit because I was going to make you a present. <laughs> this isn't recent. <laughs> like two years ago, I bought a kit, an embroidery kit. Yeah. And I was going to set off to do like this super intricate mm -hmm. monogrammed pillowcase. The very first project of your embroidery career. Yes. You know where it's at? <laughs> All the supplies are in a tote upstairs in the closet. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know. Best intentions. It is very at least much I knew so. you were thinking of that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now look at this oh, picture. Oh, I love yellow. Isn't that pretty? And that bust right back there. Mm -hmm. She's so she or he. I don't know. No, neither. Looks like a pretty. Yeah. Really pretty. <laughs> okay, next one from Sandy Pennington. Look at oh. this. Is that a that's a oh, um dappled willow? Yeah, a dappled is willow. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was trying to think of the the long name it's Salix. a dappled window salix right yeah <laughs> <laughs> they are so pretty uh, yeah. so sandy zones in a or zones <laughs> I, i've only had a couple since sandy gardens in a zone eight and she's had this garden for 15 years mm. and the pond is awesome it is can you imagine the sound if you were standing right there and the sound and oh look at the conversational bench under oh, the yeah. under the dappled willow oh that's neat it's beautiful. You know what I love about this is that you can tell Sandy that you like things. Like mm -hmm. you like, you know, the crane and the bird to mm -hmm. the left there, the, the bench. Art. But it's not too much. Mm -mm. Like you've done it very tastefully mm -hmm. and I, I like that mm -hmm. a lot. When it looks like some restraint yeah. has been employed. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes that can be really hard to do. Yeah. But look at the big bank of trees back there. See, if you had a backdrop like that, yeah. you could almost do anything and look beautiful. I'm certain of it. I am too. Sure of it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Here's another view of the waterfall a little closer up and some of the pond mm. plants and the fish. Oh, there's a secondary waterfall to the right mm -hmm. there. Um, oh my goodness. Did a good oh. Job. oh. <laughs> now this is an oh. evening shot, but look at that dapple willow, how that glows in the yes. corner. Yes, but mm. look at their view no matter how they turn. Yeah, wow. And I love the edging. That's boxwood, right? Yeah. Like it looks like it's yeah. fixing to be a hedge yep. here pretty quick. Mm -hmm. But it's perfect. It is. Yeah. 
And you can see that white arbor popping <clears throat> through there too. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love the color of that rose. Yeah. That pinky, whatever that is. Kind of looks like some that you have in your upper yard, yeah. right? What are yeah. those called? Tuscan Sun? A Tuscan Sun. Sun. Yeah. There's a lissom on the ground and some kind of like a landscape yellow rose that's very soft mm -hmm. and beautiful. But see that bench in the background, mm -hmm. the swing? Yep. Isn't that fun? So you can walk around when any time, when any time, any time a pathway goes around like that, it uh -huh. draws you in. It does. Yeah. Oh, now. Oh, this is the same oh, garden. Yeah. I wow. wonder I wonder how big your garden is, Sandy. Because wow. <laughs> it looks like you've got lots of little cozy rooms all over, but then at the yeah. same time it seems... Well, it looks like a garden that the public could come in and tour. Yeah. Yeah, because there's all kinds of interesting things. I bet you do do some... Some sure. garden tours. You yeah. know what I find interesting? So you've got the cool color combination mm -hmm. there on the right and then the reds there in the left. But I don't even like, mm -hmm. uh, you it's know. It's pretty. Yeah. Well, there's some red roses in the in the background there. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, look at that. Oh, that is like the, mo the best thing to see out in your garden space. Reminds me of Samantha Grace. Yeah. yeah. She's going to be all over it Who doesn't year. like to water? <laughs> and this is what we all should be doing right there, kicking back. I, I think that's not real common. I bet you she's having a rare, a rare reprieve. time of relaxing. Yeah, but look at the birdhouse. Yeah, that's really yeah. pretty. Gorgeous. Dang. Gorgeous garden, Sandy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we've got a before for this next one. This is from Tony in Grapevine, Texas, Zone 8. So this appears to be the backyard. Mm -hmm. Blank slate. Whoa. <laughs> wow, well, my gosh. Is that the same house? Okay. <laughs> Tony said, we started with nothing but dirt 24 years ago, and then bam. That was one of That's Benjamin's amazing. spelling words yesterday. Bam. Bam, with an exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. And then, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's amazing. If you can have, stand in one spot in your garden and take a picture and have it look like seasonally mm -hmm. this beautiful, mm -hmm. I need to work on my space, I'm man. I'm always running around trying to find the best angle and the best shot. <laughs> I could never stand in the same spot and see something. Oh my I don't gosh. Think, I don't think so. I could take pictures all over your garden. <laughs> And they all are pretty. So Tony said we started, okay, well, nothing but over 24 mm -hmm. years ago, and now we have a beautiful shade garden with 30 Japanese maples mm. and various shade-loving perennials and shrubs. Mm. As trees grew, the lawn area started to okay. decrease. That probably sounds familiar. Yep. And beds were added or expanded each year. Mm. Oh, my goodness. So she has a, an Instagram, Tony's Signature Gardens. Oh. I'll have to check that out. Also, yeah. okay, so let me look, because it says that she included some pictures from... Their church in North Texas. Mm -hmm. oh, let me scroll up. There it is. Oh, before mm -hmm. shot again. Mm -hmm. Look at the windows on that yeah. church. That's pretty. That's pretty. I really like that. And you can see you've marked out some things with paint there on the left. Oh, yeah. No, no, on the right too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh. What a fun idea for a sloped mm -hmm. flower bed right there. Mm -hmm. It's like semi, se semi, yeah. semi yeah. terraced. Mm -hmm. That's really pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, my. Wouldn't that be welcoming? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it just shows you, like a commercial space, mm -hmm. you know. It can still be pretty. It can still be gorgeous. <clears throat> oh, here's another view of it. Wow. So is this in the fall? It looks closer to the end of the yeah. season. I mean, it's in yeah. Texas, mm -hmm. but the col uh, is it coleus? I don't even know what that, what's that purple leaf thing in there? I can't tell exactly, but know. there's lantana. There's coreopsis. Yeah. Um, so pretty. Yeah, that's really mm -hmm. nice. Oh, a balcony garden. This is from Weston in Indiana, zone 5B slash 6A. How charming. Look at how cute how that charming. is. Yeah. yeah. So this is a fifth floor balcony fall arrangement. Oh, I love it. With plants from spring, which are the ferns, yeah. summer, potato vine, fountain grass, coleus, dracaena, and fall, cabbage, mm -hmm. mums, gourds, and pumpkins. So fun. That is fun. Oh, and I love it when anybody makes an effort. Well, yeah. You I know, mean, any space. Any space. Any small space. Yeah. This is great. Well, and you can just really, mm -hmm. I love how you've packed it mm -hmm. in there. There's so much interest yeah. going on. Really pretty. Now, I can't tell from this picture, but I do hope you have a chair out there. You can sit and really enjoy yeah. that. <laughs> that could be a little painting. It could be. Super, could be. super pretty. Look at all those trees. Yes. The backdrop. They've got a great backdrop. Yes, they do. Yep. Oh. oh. ABC. Okay. This must be a 
kids garden of some kind. This is from Kathy in New York Zone 7B. She says, I volunteer at a local bird sanctuary and memorial garden that was formerly a storm basin until a sewer system was installed on the local streets. I started maintaining the ABC garden, which is the children's garden section, about cute. four to five years ago. Oh, cute. Oh, this is cute. Mm -hmm. So, okay, the A has alliums and white alyssum. The B, and you can see that. Look, at it's like a little moon garden <clears throat> yeah. contained in there. The B has begonias, black-eyed mm. susans, and buttercups. Mm -hmm. And the C has celosia, uh, coneflowers, mm. cosmos, and chrysanthemums are added in the fall. So pretty. That's such a it's a such fun a idea. idea. Yeah, yeah. We well, can see in the background there in that other bed. Mm -hmm. There's some sunflowers growing, and ah, uh, that's really mm. cool. Oh, somebody's putting in a patio. Oh, <laughs> that gives me the shivers <laughs> to even see that. <laughs> You've done that before. Oh yeah, that's mm -hmm. just it's a big job. It so is. this is it from is. Tracy in Ontario, Canada, Zone Five A. Oh, okay. Okay. So we've got. I like the color of I like pavers that too, you've and I like how big the pavers are. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Now let's take it. Oh my. Oh, oh look. <laughs> somebody on their bed. Patio all done yeah. and somebody enjoying it there. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh that's, that's really cool. That is. I like to see the gazebo and the mm -hmm. all the seating, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, a oh. night shot. Isn't that pretty? I love that arbor. I love the iron fencing too. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. Yeah. Oh, and the fire pit yeah. area. Yeah. Looks super cozy. Like you could just be out there and read and yeah, it looks like they yeah. like to entertain, mm -hmm. uh, have like family, mm -hmm. you know, just yep. yeah, to really enjoy your space. Mm. Oh, now look at that little vegetable garden. Now is this the same garden? Yes. Oh, how fun! Yeah, because you can see that yeah. the same iron fencing there. <laughs> this is like a little kitchen garden. Yeah, I love that. I love the mm -hmm. little built-up roads yeah. like that. It's so, super something pretty. about it. Just yep. yeah, not raised beds, just raised raised up. Yeah. I like that too. She's redoing their vegetable garden this yeah, year. Yeah, you yeah. Do a little bit of this in there. Well, so charming. I don't know, Laura, because I'm at the point I want it waist high. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blame you there. That's for sure. Comfortable garden. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna do though with your corn? Can't be growing corn in a waist high. Oh, we can grow the short corn. How short? Well, like three feet, four feet high corn. That'd you be know? Nice. Yeah, like sugar buns. That one only gets three feet tall. Well, it doesn't get very tall. Oh. Like some of those early day corns. Yeah. Stay pretty short. Are they as tasty? No. Dad and I won't be able to race <laughs> growing our <No>. ambrosia. <laughs> He'd probably find something different and tell you that it's yeah, ambrosia. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how early mine is. I look at what a good gardener I am. <laughs> earlier than yours. Okay, we've got another before shot from Amanda in zone 6B mm -hmm. in British Columbia. Mm. First of all, even without any flower beds. I love the shed. Mm -hmm. I wonder what kind well, of tree. and there again, they've got trees. Look at yeah, all the trees in the background. Mm -hmm. See how jealous we are of all the trees? <laughs> That's like one of the first things that we notice. Okay, next. Oh, 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 oh I do not envy you that oh. job. <laughs> We've both what? been there oh, a lot. Yes. You more than me. Oh my word. That is a big job, rolling up socks. We like all that. had to roll it up. Remember you growing up? Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's get out and roll up a pickup load of sod. All by hand. All by hand. Yeah. <laughs> See, the difference now in my life is that I have Aaron, and Aaron is like, okay, what kind of machine can make this job? Like, boom, done in 30 minutes. <laughs> Instead, I'd be like, I'll just take the week, mm -hmm. and I'll get my wheelbarrow out. That's right. And you'll get the, the, what is that, shovel, the sod looking the shovel. Moon. The half moon. Well, it's kind of got. It's kind of like a. Mm, oh yeah, yeah. It kind of like goes under yeah, the grass. Yeah, it's like a. It's like a flat scoop. Yeah. Well, yeah. Jeez, Louise, that is just <laughs> so hard. It taught you a lot of stuff, Laura. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't that cute? Yes. Yeah. So it's you really can tell cute. this is early in the season. You've got your plants all lined mm -hmm. out on the outside of the mm -hmm. fence. I love the fence too. Any fence, mm -hmm. kind of like. Yep. Uh, the, uh, it's a defining yeah. um, place, but I love her little beds. Yeah, that is. And that cool. soil looks rich. Yes, it does. Now Wonderful. Look at the mountains with like the clouds, I the know. mist. I know it. So pretty. Yes. Hence why they have all those trees. Oh my gosh. Probably have lots of moisture. Oh, later on oh, during cute. the season. Fun to see progression. Love it. So I wonder what kind of tree yeah. is in the end of that flower bed there on the right. Can you tell from here? Mm. <gasps> is it a is it a fruit tree? I don't know. That wood kind of looks like a, a fruit tree. Well, that would kind of be perfect, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I think the one fungus oh. mat that's in here has found me. <laughs> it's plaguing me. I only ever see one when I'm in here. Did I get it? I, I don't see it. If I do, I'll smack it. Okay, just <laughs> be careful. 
There's some of the, the so dahlias. Pretty. Isn't that pretty? I can't Gosh. wait. And just what people think of to mm -hmm. do in their personal space. Yeah. That's pretty like amazing. The overflowing abundance mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Oh my, this is later on. Ooh, you're yeah. redoing the shed. Ah. That's fun. Yeah. I wonder if we could, oh, nope, that was the last picture. Dang it, you're gonna have to send a picture yeah. of your finished shed so we can see it. <laughs> We're curious. Yeah, that's a really fun space. I yeah. love that. Oh, oh wow. this is from Jim in Colorado Zone 5B. After visiting oh. England in 2016, it changes your life, mm -hmm. right? It does. Oh my gosh. It does. I wanted ruins in my own yard. Yes. That sounds like Beverly Nichols. We've got a few ruins. You've got a fence section in your front yard. I know it's behind the barn now. Oh, I gotta find a spot oh, for it. Do you need to have it on loan somewhere? No. <laughs> She's trying to get to the uh, white arbor from me. Oh, when it looks so pretty going into our garden. Erin is like, boom, oh, take you it. can have it. Yeah, <laughs> no. I will load it up. I love that. It would go so well in our yard because ours is more rustic. Yeah, get rid of that thing. <laughs> see, I, I love it too though. Yeah, see. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That is very pretty. <laughs> it is. So I found the Gosh. remnants of an antique balustrade, uh -huh. balustrade, at yeah. a salvage yard in Denver. Oh, really? It was made in Leeds, England. Oh, we were wow. in Leeds. Yep. In uh, about 1870. Oh. oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love the blue juniper in the background. Yeah. Isn't that so yeah. pretty? You can really tell it's all pretty. trimmed up. Yep. I like them limbed up. Yeah. I like that. It is really nice. An underplant under them. Yeah. Well, that is a gorgeous wow. space, Jim. Love that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at these dogs. Are those Shelties? Oh, is that what they're called? Let's see if she's got oh, yeah. down. I have my glasses on, but you, I can't see. where. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm in control of how the pictures are moving. And so, <laughs> so I'm sorry. You're quit moving. <laughs> quit moving the, the words. <laughs> this is from Jennifer uh, slash three dogs in a garden, uh, greater Toronto area, zone oh. 6B. Piper and Charlie. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Super cute. So the first picture, my front oh. garden in mid-August. Mm. Look at the Brenra. Oh yeah. And mm -hmm. the Feverfew. Mm -hmm. That's so pretty. Oh. I see the Ivory Halo Dogwood, the Eupatorium, yeah. Yeah. Echinacea, Black, Black Eyed Susans. For some reason, yeah. it's like it's the universe is telling me to put more in. Yep. I love them. They're so pretty. Yeah. They look oh. like happy. Look at the, ag mm -hmm. is it, do you say agastache or agastache? I've heard it said both ways. And so I say it however they say it. However if you were to say a, a it, client comes in. Well, that's the smart way to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But how do you say it like on, in your agastache. own time? Agastache, that's mm -hmm. what I say too. Mm -hmm. But I don't mm -hmm. know if we're right. I don't think we are. Either way. <laughs> agastache. <laughs> I, think that's, I don't like that because it sounds like mustache. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I never have thought that. Yeah, well, now you will. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's really pretty right here with the hydrangeas yeah. and the phlox yeah. behind it. Really this pretty. is our color palette, though, yep. both of us. Mm -hmm. I blame mom because I grew up in that color palette and I just loved it. So I have broad shoulders. I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at, and look how groomed that dog is. I know. Oh. That looks fresh. Oh, I what a regal looking dog. Yes. Mm. I love having a dog. We don't have one right now. Look at there's another view showing the bench. Mm -hmm. Isn't that pretty? See, that's a bench. Is that? Do you think that's faded out teak? Mm, it looks like poly. Oh, it's poly. Is it or painted? I don't know. I can't tell from here exactly. You might have to <laughs> I mean, correct us on that. More high powered glasses. Well, I, don't know. <laughs> I can't tell either. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's so pretty. That's a pretty <gasps> photograph. Yes, I mean, it that's is. a really pretty picture. Purple, pink, yellow. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's a beautiful picture. Very, very pretty. Mm. Oh, peonies, yeah. I love them. Can you imagine the smell right oh, there? Love that. So pretty. Okay, next one. From Julie in St. Saint Louis, Saint Louis, Saint Louis Park. Meet me in St. Louis. That's not the same place as this. So anyway, Minnesota, zone 4B. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at these. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, I love yep. that. Yep. The high contrast. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of Creeping Jenny. Like Me that, too. Though. I love the color of it, that chartreuse green. Yeah, it's so, so nice. Yeah. So she says, from a narrow weed-filled dirt strip in between our driveway and our neighbor's old six-foot fence, amazing what a line of four planters and 24-inch annuals. Wow. Can you believe that? 
The planters wow. are Veradec 38 inch long box style. So you're dealing with mm -hmm. four times 38 inches, whatever that ends up being. Mm -hmm. um, and the plants, so it's a stained glass works royalty coleus, Main Street River Walk coleus, Sun Patience Compact Rose Glow, and two Creeping Jenny in mm. each one of those planters. She said that she loves the area because people that walk by can enjoy it. Oh. Yeah, and her that's neighbors so nice. can see it. That's Look sweet. at that. Oh, that's pretty. Those are pretty planters. Yeah. Oh, there's but, a backed up yeah, look. Yeah, that's can beautiful. Can you that? 20, did she say 20 plants? Right? Yeah. Dang. Sounds like our planters. One. <laughs> One 38 inch planter. 20 plants. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Great job. Okay, next this? from Deb in zone 9B. These are a few mm -hmm. of my favorite photos from the past summer in our front yard mm -hmm. garden. What is the purple tree? I don't know. Nothing we can grow here. No. What is that? I don't know. Does she say it in her description? No, let me go back up. Jacaranda? Jac Jac Jacaranda. 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 Oh, yes. that's so pretty. That is gorgeous. And mm. the, I don't, the birch, is that a royalty birch? The Looks like it, yeah. Oh but you gosh. know, just looking at this, all of the yeah. different textures mm -hmm. and colors, everything looks like, it doesn't look like a huge mm -hmm. jumble. It looks like there's some distinction. Right. Well, and the chartreuse color, that chartreuse gold green mm -hmm. just stands out. It's so pretty. In our area, we, we have so much iron deficient, you know, problems. We have natural chartreuse. <laughs> <laughs> it looks different though. I always tell people because customers that come in, I say, you need some gold in your garden. They're like, well, I have some gold, but it needs iron. Yeah. And, and um, I said, no, no, it, that looks like it needs iron. There are really beautiful gold leaf plants yeah. that are supposed to be that color. I like the salvia, the pink, mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. pink with the purple and the white. Yeah. That's, with that little touch of yellow yeah. in the background yep. there. Ugh. Yeah. Have you ever tried to get up in one of those swings? <laughs> no. <laughs> you gotta make sure that you've got your composure. Yeah. Uh, it, it, well, maybe Does it's it want to like swing out from under you? <laughs> well, I think it just m might be the ones that I've tried to get into. <laughs> So you have to really to hold it. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah. It'll kind of like shove yeah. it under your... Yeah. yeah. But then once you're in, it's like a hammock. Mm, I so get comfortable. Get used to that. Mm -hmm. I love the ladies' mantle. Look yeah. That. Yeah. Oh, ladies' mantle so pretty. Mm -hmm. And do you see yeah. the white foxglove in the background? Mm-hmm. Oh. So, yes, I do. So pretty. Okay. Mm. Next one. Dino in Ohio, Cleveland, Zone mm. 6. <laughs> The impatiens. Oh my yeah. word. Yep. Oh my goodness. Wow. Isn't wow. That pretty? That's a lot of annuals planted with mm -hmm. the perennials, and I love that. So we've got begonias right there, though, right? It looks like in it. that picture. So yeah. pink a lot and of white. Good colors. And I don't know what that pink flower is behind them. Mm. What is that? Well, I'm not sure. That's really pretty. A lot of work. Striking, yeah. Oh, oh isn't that I pretty? like that. Yes. And that little bit of yellow. Mm hmm Super pretty. Yeah. I like the blue spruce there on the mm -hmm. right. It looks like it hugs the side of the house perfectly. Mm -hmm. And that looks like a June snow dogwood. Mm -hmm. It does. Right there. Yeah. That's really nice. Their house color's pretty with a stone. Yeah. It's really pretty. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a really pretty container. Oh. I cannot wait. The container's gorgeous and the flowers are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really like really the mix pretty. of color. I'm liking more and more mm -hmm. when I see somebody throw in something like Well, bright. do you see this bright pink in the back? Yeah. We have that right yeah, now you do. In, as a house plant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Oh, oh that's okay. Oh, this next one, you guys, with all mm -hmm. the hostas. This mm -hmm. is from Greg and Joe in Manitoba, mm -hmm. Canada, Zone 3. Mm -hmm. Zone 3. Wow, Zone 3. Winter lows to negative 40 degrees Celsius. They have got to want to want this garden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Choose yeah. things that are just so, yeah. so tough. That yeah. is so pretty. And they've got some annuals brought out, like their string of pearls right mm -hmm. there hanging. Where? Um, see. Right there on the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there. It's yeah. big. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All of the hostas are beautiful. Oh, and I see the agave in the background. That one probably mm -hmm. comes in, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Looks like an agave but Americana. Little bits of cobalt blue. Yeah. That's pretty really pops doesn't mm -hmm. it oh look at that little frog oh my gosh tiny little thing oh he blends in oh, really cute oh and some pond plants mm -hmm. and there's some koi there and what are these is what are those is that an orchid of it some looks kind of like an orchid yeah wow that's really cool also look at, looks look like at a carnivorous the purpley, plant 
That's got to be an orchid. It looks like an orchid. Yeah. Whoa. That is so, so pretty. It looks like they have big chins. Yeah, you know what? Samantha would be trying to put like little rocks down yeah. in there. Yep. Yep. Any like little things it looks like, like a that. little purse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She would love it. See, look at this. Black Eyed Susans again. Yep. This yep. is from Dawn in William Williamson, New York, Zone 6A. So she said, you've inspired me to start geraniums from seed this past year. So you could see right there, look at all of those geraniums. Looks familiar to what's <laughs> yes. behind us, yeah. Yep, those look so great. Oh, and there they are out in the garden. I just love geraniums. I do too. I love the, the mm -hmm. smell. Yep. They really, I mean, you do need to deadhead them to keep them kind of yeah. looking nice, mm -hmm. but they're not hard it's to deadhead. It's kind of fun, just the collage yeah. of colors there. Well, I'm going to have lots. Do you yeah. want any for your I do. House? I do. What else were you growing for me? I think there was a lot of bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> I got lots of vernaculus going. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Vernaculus. Yeah. Yep. Oh, and then a red bud tree. <clears throat> oh. So this red bud tree mm -hmm. uh, that she shared a picture of is in front of her circa 1873 full timber four store barn oh. in Western New York. Okay. I gotta take a closer look. Now, see the quilt yeah, patterns? The I don't, quilts. I see those on people's barns mm -hmm. and if somebody could explain those to me because I'm not sure what they, it's a thing, isn't I it? I know, but there has to be like a history behind that. I don't mm -hmm. know what that is, but I've always Either. loved that. There's a few of them around here on barns. Mm -hmm. I remember yeah. somebody asking, they actually messaged, I think, and mm -hmm. asked if we would put a barn quilt on our barn. Really? Yeah. If, I think they made them or something oh. like that. I can't really, it was been a while. But I wonder what that means. And it just looks so appropriate on that it barn. Does. That's really pretty. Yeah, it is so pretty. Oh, now look at this one. Yeah. Look at the tree house and the dahlias. And that's a, a atlas cedar? Or oh. A, is that? That looks like, like it. Like a blue it's atlas like the cedar? biggest one I've ever seen. Yeah. We planted one last year and it died. Yeah, they. if we have one of our hard winters or a really, really scorching hot summer, they will die. Ours, we broke the rhubarb on it. Oh, there, there's that too. <laughs> <laughs> User error on that one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so this one is from um, Marie or Mary, M-A-R-I, in Oregon Zone 7B. Oh, she has a YouTube channel in Spanish. Oh. So Vida y... Huerto, beautiful space, and I love the morning glory over your arbor there, and the so see pretty. the purple sage. Yep, gah, and rhubarb. <laughs> You're just and like the dahlias. Steady. The dahlias are so pretty. I know it's really pretty. Okay, I think oh. this is the last one. This is from Catalin in BC, Canada. A front flower bed. Now I love seeing these because I remember in our townhouse garden being so overwhelmed mm -hmm. because it was our first real space to mm -hmm. garden mm -hmm. and it wasn't like you know it wasn't mm -hmm. extensive um, and so I had to be kind of selective yeah. about what I put there and I was mm -hmm. just always like a little bit I don't know I used to get overwhelmed by stuff like that well these front gardens are kind of hard they're kind of tricky yeah yeah but this is pretty I love the blue mm -hmm. fescue mm -hmm. I doesn't do that just shine yeah really pretty. oh that's so pretty now this looks like because she did say front yard seasons from 2022. So this Ooh. must be maybe a little earlier in the season, like early summer, the Veronica's mm -hmm. blooming. There's mm -hmm. a blue lobelia. Mm -hmm. I like to play on blue. There are yeah, lots of blue. I do too. Yep. Oh, it's oh. raining in this picture. Later on, look at this. Oh, wow. So the Veronica's been cut back. You yeah. can see Russian sage mm -hmm. and echinacea, mm -hmm. black eyed seasons. Yeah, it's gorgeous. What kind of hydrangeas do you think those are, Lionel? Like? Are they Annabelle's? Oh, they look panical, like pointy yeah. maybe. Yeah. Mm, those are really pretty. Okay. There they are. Oh my. Oh, oh, now oh. look at it. Completely different. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. The blue fescue though is like the, is it the stalwart? It's the, plant? it's the star of the show, that's it, for that's sure. The right, that's yeah. the right term. Yeah. <laughs> That is so, so pretty. And then winter. Oh, winter. You can see there's still structure yep, there. Yep. That's really fun to see. <gasps> so fun. And that is it, you guys, for gardens today. Thanks for joining us. That was fun. It was so fun. And I was, like, talking so much. I didn't even... <laughs> a third cup of grapefruit juice, one and a half ounces of amaretto, and a maraschino cherry. Mm. Mm -hmm. Pleasantly tart, but sweet. Sweet. Yeah. And cold. And delicious. Yes. <laughs> So thank you to all of you who sent out pictures and descriptions and took the time to do that. 
We really, really appreciate it. It's so much fun to see so many different spaces oh, from yeah. all over the place. And thank it's you for great. coming over today. Oh, you're welcome. And doing this with us. It's so much fun. Yeah. We will probably have another another one next week, I'm guessing, until it really warms up and we're doing a lot of stuff outside. We just want to keep going. You guys seem to be enjoying it, so uh, which makes me happy because I'm enjoying it. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.